In this video, we'll show you how to use solubility data to determine the KSP for a given compound. We'll illustrate a little experiment. We start with an empty evaporating dish. Now we put the empty evaporating dish on electronic balance. And the balance reads 78.522 grams. So we we'll record that here in the data table for the mass of the empty evaporating dish. We place the empty evaporating dish on a hot plate that hasn't been turned on yet. Now we carefully measure 50 milliliters of saturated BAF2 solution and add it to the evaporating dish. We make sure the sample has no undissolved solid in it. And we record this as 50 milliliters volume here in the data table. Now we turn the hot plate on, a low setting, and let it warm up and the water slowly evaporates, leaving a small amount of solid residue in the evaporating dish. We turn the hot plate off and let the dish cool down. After it's cool, we place the evaporating dish with the solid residue back on the electronic balance, and the reading is 78.553 grams. This is the total mass of the evaporating dish and the solid BAF2 that was originally dissolved in the 50 milliliter sample of the saturated solution. So we record that up here in the data table. We're asked to use the given data to determine the KSP for BAF2 at the temperature of the original saturated solution. We can do this in two major steps. First, we use the given data to determine the molar solubility of BAF2 once we have the molar solubility, then we can use it to determine the value of KSP for barium fluoride. We start by calculating the mass of solid BAF2 in the evaporating dish. This is the mass of BAF2 that was dissolved in the 50 ml sample of the original saturated solution. To do this, we take the mass of the evaporating dish and solid BAF2 and subtract the mass of the empty evaporating dish and we get 0 0.031 grams of solid BAF2. So we'll add a line to our data table and record this value there. Now we have enough information to calculate the molar solubility of BAF2. We start out with the grams of BAF2. Then we convert to moles of BAF2. Next, we divide the moles by the volume of our sample in liters in order to get the molar concentration or molarity of the saturated solution, which is the molar solubility. So to calculate the molar solubility, we start with the mass of BAF2, which is 0 0.031 grams, and we multiply it by the conversion factor 1 mole of BAF2 to 175.3 grams of BAF2, its molar mass. If we stopped here, we would be able to calculate the moles. However, we'll use another conversion factor to go to the molar concentration. In order to find the molar concentration or molarity, we divide the moles by the liters of solution. Up in the data table, we see that the volume of the solution is 50 milliliters. To change 50 milliliters to liters, we divide by 1,000. So 50 milliliters is equal to 0 0.05 liters. Dividing by liters is the same as multiplying by 1 over liters. So we multiply by the conversion factor 1 over 0 0.05 liters. We can cancel the unit grams of BAF2, and we're left with moles of BAF2 over liters of BAF2, which is the same as molarity, the unit we need for concentration. To find the value for molar concentration, we take 0 0.031 divided by 175.3 divided by 0 0.05, and we get 3.54 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. Or, we can say the molar solubility is 3.54 times 10 to the negative third molar. Notice that this answer has three significant figures one more than the two significant figures in the mass of solid BAF2. 
However, since the molar solubility is only the first step in this problem, we'll leave it to one extra significant figure and round to two significant figures at the very end of the problem. So we can summarize up here that the molar solubility of BAF2 is equal to 3.54 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Now we can proceed to find the KSP. We start by writing the solubility equilibrium equation for BAF2, which is BAF2 gives Ba2 plus plus 2F minus. What we'll do here is drop the molar solubility on top of the BAF2 in the equation. This does not mean that the concentration of solid BAF2 is this value. What it means here is that 3.54 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of BAF2 will dissolve in 1 liter of solution. We can use this and the mole ratios in the balanced equation to calculate the concentrations of the ions Ba2 plus and F minus in a saturated solution. The mole ratio of Ba2 plus to BAF2 is 1 to 1. So the concentration of Ba2 plus is 3.54 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. The coefficient 2 on the F minus tells us that the mole ratio of F minus to BAF2 is 2 to 1. So the concentration of F minus in a saturated solution of BAF2 is 2 times 3.54 times 10 to the negative 3, which equals 7.08 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. So these are now the values of the concentration of Ba2 plus and the concentration of F minus at solubility equilibrium. We can use these to find the value for KSP. The KSP expression for BAF2 is KSP is equal to the concentration of Ba2 plus times the concentration of F minus squared. The equilibrium concentration of Ba2 plus is 3.54 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. So we substitute that in the KSP expression for the concentration of Ba2 plus. The concentration of F minus is equal to 7.08 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Note that this is just F minus, not 2F minus. The concentration of F minus is 7.08 times 10 to the negative third molar, or 2 times the concentration of Ba2 plus because of the mole ratio of 2 to 1 in the equilibrium equation. So we substitute 7.08 times 10 to the negative 3 molar in here for the concentration of F minus. Again, make it clear to yourself that this is just the concentration of F minus, not 2 times the concentration of F minus, and not F minus squared, simply the concentration of F minus. The squared will be used when we calculate the value of KSP. So KSP is equal to 3.54 times 10 to the negative 3 times 7.08 times 10 to the negative 3 squared, which comes out to 1.77 times 10 to the negative 7. Note that this value has three significant figures. Recall a long time ago in this problem, we subtracted 78.522 from 78.553. The rule for subtraction is we express the answer to the lowest number of decimal places in the numbers we are subtracting. In this case, that is three decimal places. The resulting number, 0 .031, is three decimal places, but it's actually two significant figures, because remember the zeros at the beginning of a number are not significant. So our KSP value must be rounded to two significant figures, which is 1.8 times 10 to the negative seventh. So this is the final answer. Using the solubility data and a series of steps, we were able to determine that the KSP for barium fluoride at the temperature of the original saturated solution is 1.8 times 10 to the negative seventh. Mm -hmm.